This little convenience store seems to have had a little accident. An airplane has crashed inside the roof. It's gonna be a cold, rainy, nasty day. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Some storms rolling into this area. I've got a lot of distance to make today. So it should be interesting. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's the, I almost crushed this, but there's coffee in there. That would not be wise. It's the Daily Woo. Storms rolling in on the horizon. If you were indoors, you'd be a wise one. You're looking for the nymph. It's to the left. If it wasn't so wet and rainy, I would try to find you, oh maiden of the woods. Alabama, the home of Jason Voorhees. And evidently also, old man Peabody. What if they're one and the same? The mystery has been solved. He had this crazy idea about killing campers. I think we've just about arrived. This is Byron's Lake Road. Friday the 13th, part seven. The very first one where Kane Hodder played Jason. It's a pretty good one. If you've never seen it, you should check it out. He's out there somewhere. He's out there. Either in the woods or in the water. He's tipped this boat over. For what reason, I don't know. They built an exterior facade right here of a house that they exploded right along the water. And then right over in here was the secondary house, which has also been removed from the property. Right in that water is where the woman was skinny dipping and her boyfriend was a victim of Jason right here among these trees. And many others fell victim to him in these very woods. It's very eerie being out here all by myself, knowing that this is where Friday the 13th, part seven was filmed. I'm gonna take the drone up. I've never gotten an aerial shot of any of the filming locations of Camp Crystal Lake. And that is why I am here today to get a bird's eye view of the stomping grounds of one of the most menacing characters in horror history, Jason Voorhees. And this echo out here is making the ambiance even a little bit more creepy. I had to bring the drone in. It doesn't work real well in the cold. The battery kept saying, bring it in, bring it in. Not operationally functionable in cold weather. Or maybe this place is cursed. Who said that? I should also mention there was another movie filmed back there. Frankenfish. Terrifying. He's struck again. He's struck again. That's a big body of water down there, straight ahead. There's a major cold front coming in the next day or two. I'm trying to get away from it. The goal is to get out of Alabama into Louisiana and just south enough to avoid freezing temperature. Because Large Marge, she don't like it when it gets below 32. Wow, look at this. Beehive shaped house. It's pretty windy going across this causeway. In fact, look at the way the rain is going diagonally across the windshield. That's the way the wind's blowing. That's Mobile. And we're about to go through the famous Mobile Tunnel. You ever try to hold your breath through these things? Of course, I'm not holding my breath personally because it's impossible to talk and hold your breath. Actually, the more I think about it, I think you can talk and not breathe at the same time. I'm, I just breathe, I just, I just breathe. It really is a, a beautiful day today. I wonder if a mer person, like a mermaid or a merman, could walk around amongst the humans in weather like this without being noticed. Like Ariel wouldn't even need to get a hold of that evil sea witch Ursula to make her dreams come true. She could just wander around the earth. Well, my friends, we must say goodbye. Shh, don't cry. 
Say goodbye to Alabama and hello to M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, Mississippi. A couple months ago, I visited this place and rode the airboats. And now the entire property is flooded. That truck is partially submerged. You can't even get up to the gift shop. Thank goodness they have airboats because they can get around. But I wonder what happened to all the alligators on the other side of the fences over there. Do you think they can go over the fences and escape all through here? Crazy. All around here, the water level is very high. Look at this church parking lot. That's a lot of water. This whole area is filled with swamps. They've all overflowed. a lighthouse. I think of Mickey Rooney. It's a frazzle dazzle day. A lifetime of joy in just a few hours. Mickey Rooney sang nothing like that and I think I messed up the words. Passing through Biloxi. That's the ocean right there. There's a shark! A huge shark right there! The name of this place is Slap Your Mamas. Oh look there's a pig riding on top of that car right there. Look at that. A lot of water in the road. Oh, not a lot of sunbathers out today, for good reason. Oh, well, we got a sign falling over. That sign right there, wind blew it down. And check this out over here off the right. A car has lost control and veered off into that fence. Major traffic jam up ahead. I'm gonna take a little detour. pretty much decided it's not going to stop raining today. It's like a torrential downpour spanning the entire, the entire day. Not the most beautiful weather, but at least I got a good parking spot. King of rock and roll in here. At least he's staying moderately dry. When I was a kid and my family would travel, we would stop at these rest areas and I would take each and every one of these. And I'd have like 140 brochures in the back of the car that I would honestly never read. They're so nice in there. I got a free cup of coffee. Welcome sign. Welcome to Louisiana. It's a castle right there. This is something I wasn't expecting to see. A castle right on the water. I don't think anyone lives there. There are no trespassing signs all over the place. It's pretty freaking awesome. Living in a castle in Louisiana. Supposed to get pretty cold tonight. I'm ready. Vlog over.